If there's a show that's a perfect mixture of suspense, drama, thriller, and crime, then it's gotta be this one. Season 2 of Big Sky is on air these days, and boy, the kind of thrill that it's brought with it is what was missing from everyone's screens all this time. Want to know the real age and life partners of the cast of Big Sky? Keep watching this video till the very end. Catherine Winnick, does she not know how to age? Starting this video with one of the main roles of this show, Catherine Winnick. Born on December 17 in Ontario, Canada, Winnick has a really aged beautifully, and if someone looks at her, they wouldn't even believe that the former Vikings actress is 43 years old. As for her personal life, the actress really likes to keep things private. There's hardly ever been news of her dating life. It was once rumored she was dating her former Vikings castmate Travis Fimmel, but when it completely denied these rumors, when she was asked about it. 2015, the actress also got linked to American businessman Nick Loeb, but I guess they never became official. From what it looks like, the actress for sure is busy trying to make her career career successful and exponentially better for her. Catherine has been a small part of some other projects as well, including Bones and Love and Other Drugs. One thing's for sure that Catherine knows how to take on any role with perfection, and her acting in Big Sky proves it. Kylie Bunbury, did you know she started her career as a model? Now on to Jenny's partner in crime, Cassie played by the very talented Kylie Bunbury. On the show, the two started off as frenemies. Later, they realized that they've always got each other's back when solving crimes. That's what made the audience get obsessed with the show completely. Oh, and also, both the actresses were born in the same state in Canada. Bunbury was born in January 30th in 1989 in Ontario, Canada, and has had a seemingly drama-free love life. She got engaged to John Ryan Allen Riggins in April of 2018, and they got married in early 2020. Just recently, in June 2021, the couple announced that they're expecting a baby. The Big Sky actress first started off her career as a model and only pursued acting when her agency pushed her to do it. So imagine there'd be someone else playing the role of Casey Duell, and yes, we know, even you can't imagine it. 32-year-old actress for sure has a lot to come her way in the future. Let's talk about one of the bad guys now, shall we? Brian Garrity. Not a baddie in real life, but definitely one on the show. As for in real life, this actor was born on May 13, 1975 in New Jersey. The 46-year-old actor has been a part of numerous projects, but his first real break came with Big Sky. Let's just all appreciate how much of an amazing job he's done on the show till now. As for his personal life, not much can be said about it because the actor really hasn't been seriously involved with anyone. Until now, it looks as if he's just focused on his career and nothing else. Garrity has been a small part of another crime drama, The Supreme Pranos, and then later he was seen in Jarhead, The Guardian, We Are Marshall, and The Hurt Locker. Garrity is a real gentleman in real life, but his acting has for sure made us believe that he's nothing but a ruthless. He's a pure example of how an acting out of one man can change the whole look of a season, and seriously, Big Sky wouldn't have gotten this big if it wasn't for this one right here. Ryan Felipe, you've been dying to know about this one, haven't you? Even though he's a part of the main cast in season one, only Felipe had a very important role on the show as Cody Hoyt. I won't be wrong to say that he did complete justice to it. Felipe is a Virgo having been born on September 10th, 1974, so that makes him 47 right now. And as for his love life, the actor for sure has had his fair share of heartbreaks. Back in the day, Felipe met Reese Witherspoon on his 21st birthday and they clicked right away. They then starred together in the ever-famous movie Cruel Intentions and got married soon after in a very private ceremony. Together they have two children, but right when everybody thought that they were happily married, 2006, Witherspoon filed for a divorce and things got so bad that the actress even demanded sole custody of their children. The case finally settled in 2008 with both of them getting joint custody of both of their children. Breakup took a hard toll on Felipe and he didn't date anyone for a really long time until 2010 when he met pitch perfect actress Alexis Knapp to even have a daughter together. But things didn't go well here as well. After this, Felipe had two other high profile relationships as well, but neither of them ended on a good note. To this state, the actor is very much single. Don't go anywhere as you're about to know some more details about your other favorites from the show. Who's the most important person when solving crimes? Of course, the one who keeps an account on all of them. With that, we're talking about Dee Dee Pfeiffer. Born on January 1st in 1964, Dee Dee Pfeiffer is one of the actors on the show that brings a type of spark on screen that ignites the whole show. Big Sky was actually her first project after a big break from acting since 2010, and during that, the 57-year-old actor 
psychiatrist, did her master's in social work, and put it to practice as well. Big Sky is also created by her brother-in-law, David E. Kelly, so really, she couldn't miss out on a role like this, and we're glad she didn't. Playing the role of an office manager on the show, Pfeiffer proves how important it is for one person to bring discipline into a crime office, keep things in order, especially when there's so much drama around the main cops. As for her love life, the actress has been married thrice. She got married to Gregory Fine in 1996, but the couple split up in 2001. Later that year, she married Santiago A. Gomez, and the two stayed together for five years before parting ways in 2006. Three years later, she got married to Kevin Ryan, but her marriage lasted for four years only. One thing's a fact, and that is Dee Dee is really the one on the show that's everyone's favorite right from the start. Jesse James Keitel. Talk about someone who has had a full career ahead, and there comes Jesse James Keitel. Born on June 26th in 1993, this 28 year old actress is really on the road to become a someone big. Her role in Big Sky has earned her a lot of recognition, and although her part is not that big on the show, her acting and just her presence has proved to be an important aspect for the whole cast and show. She's even made smaller appearances on Younger and Miller's and Son. As for her personal life, not much is known yet, just this, that she is non-binary and even her character on the show is the first non-binary character ever. Who can play two completely opposite roles with such clarity? Only John Lynch. John Carroll Lynch not only played one role on the show, but two of them. Born on August 1st, 1963 in Colorado, the 58-year-old actor played the role of Trooper Rich Ligarski, who's just as evil as Ronald Pergman. In season two, the actor is seen playing the role of Rich's twin brother, Wolf Ligarski, who's on a mission to teach Ronald to live life doing the right things. And Lynch has done justice to both of these roles in such a way that it doesn't even seem like one actor has played two such completely opposite roles in one show. To say that Lynch is a very versatile actor won't be wrong at all. He's been a part of some other well-known projects as well, including Zodiac, The Trial of Chicago, and Gran Torino. And want to know the sweetest thing about him, the actor has been happily married to actress Brenda Wells since 1997. That doesn't serve as couple goals, then seriously, what does? Who keeps a killer on the right road? Only his mother, of course. Helen Pergman, who's the mother of Ronald Pergman, played a very important role in season one on the show, and this character was played by none other than Valerie Mahaffey. There's hardly anyone who hasn't seen her once in their screens, and that just tells us how much of a successful career she's had. Born on June 16th, 1953, and let's just say that Mahaffey has aged beautifully. She's been married to actor Joseph Kell for a really long time, and the actress has even been nominated for the Daytime Emmy Award for her role in The Doctors. That's it. On your favorites from the big sky, let us know in the comments down below how much you've been loving season two so far. Before you go, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. See you in the next one.